In this video, we're going to look at factorizing quadratic expressions when the coefficient of x squared is greater than one. So commonly it's known as ax squared plus bx plus c, and a lot of teachers call this the ac method. So what we do, let's take an example. So we take an example like this that says factorize six x squared plus seven x plus two. So what we do is we take the number in front of x squared, which is six. And we take the number at the end, which is two, and then we multiply them. So we do six times two, which gives me 12. Then we break down the factors of 12, and we say, right, we need two numbers that multiply together to make 12. That's going to be four times three. Why is that? Because it has to make the middle term. And then we're gonna use the rules we did last time, which we said was that if you have a plus at the end, it means you're going to have the same signs in both brackets. Now, what sign is it? It's the one in the middle, which is a plus. So we're gonna have plus four and plus three. But because with these kind of problems, we're gonna call it plus four X and plus three X. So now what's gonna happen is we're going to rewrite this expression. So we keep six X squared, the first term exactly the same. Then we're going to replace the middle term seven X with four X and three X. So it's going to be plus 4x plus 3x. And then we keep the last term, which is 2, on its own. So we get plus 2, like so. So now, the next part of this is we say, right, we take these two terms, which is 6x squared and 4x, and say, right, we need to factorise this. What's the common factor between 6x squared and 4x? In other words, let's do it step by step. So what times table does 6 and 4 come in? Well, it's going to be the 2 times table. So we write 2 on the outside. And we can say, oh, they also have an x, which is common to both of them. So I'm going to write this as 2x. Open the brackets and say, what do I times by 2x to get 6x squared? And that's going to be 3x plus, what do I times by 2x to get 4x? And that's going to be two. Now the rule in these type of quadratics is the bracket must stay the same. Do not change it, keep it exactly how it is. So we're going to write it as 3x plus two, like so, and now the key question is, what do we times by 3x to get plus 3x? Well, it's going to be plus one. And we can check, plus one times 3x is plus 3x, and one times two is positive two, so that satisfies this part, 3x plus two. Now, the numbers on the outside go in one bracket, two x plus one, and then 3x plus 2 goes on its own. Pause the video, try this question, and then you can watch my work solution. So, welcome back. We're going to go through this question. So, we're going to do 15 times 6, which is 90. Break down the factors of 90, which is 10 times 9. And we know so it's 10x and 9x. And that makes 19x in the middle. We said that the plus at the end means you've got the same signs in both brackets. And it's a plus here. So it's going to be plus 10x plus 9x. So remember the technique we do here. You write 6x squared replace the middle term with plus 10x plus 9x and then we write 15 number at the end take these two terms we factorize it we say what times table does 6 and 10 come in 
well that's going to be two. I've also got an x that's common. So I can get three x plus five because three x times two x will give me six x squared and two x times five will give me 10 x. Then I'm going to rewrite that bracket again and then I do plus three here because three times three X is nine X and three times five is 15. So the numbers on the outside go into one bracket and then three X plus five goes in a bracket on its own. The next type. So with this, we're going to say, right, I've got a plus at the end. So it's the same signs in both brackets but this time we've got a minus so so we we know that it's going to be a minus in both brackets so we do nine times four now nine times four is 36 break this down and we're trying to get 12. so we need to be very careful now about our factors so it's going to be six and six because six x and six x and six times six is 36 and also more importantly, minus 6x minus 6x makes minus 12x. So we're going to get 9x squared, replace the middle term with minus 6x here, minus 6x there. And we're going to get plus 4 at the end. So to factorize these two, we get a 3x. And then this will give me 3x minus 2 and then rewrite that bracket again, 3x minus two. And then what do we times by 3x to get minus 6x? Well, that's going to be minus two. And then we end up with this, 3x minus two times 3x minus two. Here's a question for you to try. Pause the video and then you can watch my work solution. Okay, so now we're going to do 16 times one, which is 16, break this down into two factors. So we've got eight X and two X, and they certainly make 10 X. Remember the plus at the end, meaning the same signs, and it's a minus here. So it's going to be a minus eight X and minus two X. So we're going to get 16 X squared. Um, let's write this in another color. Minus eight X minus two X plus one like so. So 16 and eight both come in the eight times table. So we get eight on the outside. X is also common. So we get two X minus one in one bracket copy that bracket out again and I want to get minus 2x so I'm going to have a minus 1 on the outside so then I end up with 8x minus 1 times 2x minus 1 like so okay the last type so it follows on from normal quadratics that we did before. So what we're going to do is say, well, the minus at the end means different signs in both brackets. Okay. Now we do exactly what we did uh, previously. We do six times 15, which is going to give me 90. Now this will give me 10 X and nine X. And remember we said, before that if you've got a minus here we it must be the bigger number that has the minus sign so it's going to be minus 10x plus 9x so we could rewrite this as 6x squared minus 10x plus uh, 9x and then we're going to get minus 15 factorize these two terms so we're going to take two is common x is common here so it's going to be 3x minus 5 copy that bracket out again which is 3x minus 5 and then what do we times by 3x to get plus 9x so that's going to be 
positive 3. So we end up with 2x plus 3 and 3x minus 5. Okay, here's a question for you to try. Pause the video and I'll go for my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So let's do this. So we know the minus sign at the end means you're going to have different signs in both brackets. So let's write that down. Different signs in both brackets. And we're going to do eight times three, which is 24. Break this down to its factors, okay? So we, we know that 12 times two definitely makes 24 and the difference is definitely 10. And remember one's a minus, one's a plus. And because it's a minus 10, it's the minus in the middle, the bigger number has to contain the minus. So it's minus 12X plus two X. So we get minus 10X for definite in the middle. So we can say that this is gonna be eight X squared minus 12X plus 2x minus 3 at the end. Take these two terms, factorize them. So in this case, we'll be careful, it's not 2. We want the highest common factor. So the times table which 8 and 12 come in and it's the highest common factor is actually 4. So it's going to be 4 on the outside and they want x. And now it's going to be, right, what do I times by 4x to get 8x squared? That's going to be 2x and then we get a minus 3. Now we write this again 2x minus 3 here and we say what do I times by 2x to get plus 2x? Well that's going to be plus 1 and remember the rule the num the terms on the outside go in the same bracket so 4x plus 1 and then you've got 2x minus 3 that goes in the same bracket as well and that's it we're done.